Look out, y'all. It's your boy Ashy Knuckles boxing back on you one more again. Uh, as much as it pains me to do this video, I got to keep it 100 with everybody who chops it up with Ashy Knuckles and taps in with me here and there. But the odd man out on this particular round is uh, Al Heyman. And uh, not because of anything Al Heyman has done. It's just the way the, 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 the landscape of boxing has elected to put him in a box. Now, I say it all the time that, you know, I've been around a long time. I mean, if you have been around a long time, you know, in the history of the sport, um, for all the stories about legacy and, and uh, history and, you know, the, the, the all-time greats, for all those great stories that we have in the sport of boxing, there's about four times as many uh, tragedies, heartbreaks, and, and, and heartaches. You know, so many fighters that have blessed us, blessed us with great fights, uh, having a historic legacy, and have gone down as one of the, the best to ever put on a pair of gloves, and at the same time left this sport with absolutely nothing when they gave the sport everything that he had that, as that fighter had to offer. Uh, they would be on the street, broke and cold, out in the cold, left for, left and you know, forgotten, basically. Um, in this particular sport, you know, this is not like the NBA or the NFL. There is no pension. You know, when you're out of the sport, you're unemployed. And um, for all the money that they made to, for, to promoters and networks, um, those same networks and promoters are not keen on donate into a certain fund that these fighters can pull from so they can continue living and take care of themselves as they live the rest of their lives. So for the long time, all the writers and the so-called uh, pundits in the sport of boxing, they've known about it. They've written about it, right? How promoters have just raped and robbed the fighters they are supposed to be protecting, how managers and advisors have robbed the fighters they're supposed to be uh, protecting. There have been uh, uh, congressional acts signed to prevent this type of stuff. I could think of one right off the bat, too. As a matter of fact, you got Iran Barkley, who fought some of the best fighters this sport of boxing has ever uh, seen. You know, we know about his epic fights with James Tony. Um, shoot, Iran Barkley also fought um, Roberto Duran in a classic. And this was a, a age Duran too, but Duran showed in that fight that he had a whole lot left in the tank as he would pull out a lot of tricks that he had in the bag from his uh, years in the sport of boxing to pull off that victory against a very tough uh, Iran Barkley, who I believe was champion. I believe he was champion in that fight. You can also think about um, in the most and more recent history when uh, a great heavyweight who had a whole lot of uh, star power and, you know, he was just really coming into his own. He was a fan favorite because he had big knockout power. And he goes by the name of uh, David Tua. David Tua, the Tua man. Everybody know him from his highlight reel knockouts in the heavyweight division. Uh, he never had what it take to secure the big one. I mean, you go by his destruction uh, by the hands, I believe it was Lennox who beat the brakes off of him, if I'm not mistaken. Maybe it was Lennox. Uh, I know for sure Rockman beat him, but was getting a raw deal in those fights. I believe Lennox is the one that pounded him out for 12 rounds. I got to go check box rec on that. Uh, I could have sworn I, I remember seeing that fight. Lennox was fucking lying. You know, it seemed like as old as he got, he got better. He was by far one of my favorite heavyweights ever. Um, but that's neither here or there. Tua man. David Tua made a lot of money in the sport, but his managers and his handlers robbed him. Robbed him for millions. You know what I'm saying? So here we got, how does this tie into Al Heyman? Al Heyman comes into the picture. He's getting these fighters record amounts of money. These guys are seeing way more money than they've ever seen. You have guys like J-Rock. Uh, Julian Williams, who's a unified champion, talking about how he was making uh, boatloads of money prior to even having a world title shot. And with that money, he's buying businesses. And he's flipping houses. He's doing all type of stuff in the city of Philadelphia. You have Andre Berto that was making X amount of millions. And you got those same writers, two-faced-ass writers, 
talking about how Andre Berto is making more money than he is he worth more money than that making more money than he's worth or how much money that he actually deserves in the ring. And that's why I got a problem with these with these riders, man, because they're two faced. How are you on one end gonna say that uh, you don't want to see fighters get robbed. You want to see fighters make up, make it out of the sport with money where they can take care of themselves. But then you got a guy who comes along and these guys are seeing money now. They're buying sports cars. They're buying houses. And you hate on him. You want to hate on the fighters and you want to hate on the guy that's providing it for, you, uh, for them. And I think it's sad, man. And I understand why Al Heyman don't give interviews. He keeps himself out the spotlight. And... Everybody who has something to say about him, who's on the outside looking in, or is trashing a man's name, acting like that he's the worst thing that ever happened to boxing, they, like he's a cancer to the sport, but everybody that's doing business with him sing his praises. And they continue to tell everybody why they sing his praises, why they, give, they are thankful that he came into their lives, teaching them business, teaching them how to, how to get this money, how to uh, invest their money. And put money away so their families would be taken care of and they don't have to want for anything like the fighters of old. You know what I'm saying? The fighters of old who have put it on the line and left this sport broke. You know what I'm saying? And I find it very interesting how a guy who is never on the microphone, who never does interviews, who's never in the public light, never said anything bad about people to where it's reported, gets this uh, bad press. And I'm like, what are you basing it on? The guys that's actually complaining? And I'm like, it just baffles me, man. But I think I know why that's happening, and I think it's unfortunate. And uh, until something happens, it's going to continue in, the, in that same uh, capacity. And those writers that have hated on the people that uh, represent PBC and have been associated with this man are the same ones that have been frozen out from coming to PBC events. So you know they're right negatively about the PBC and the, and the brass at PBC, which unfortunately is, is Al Heyman. But obviously he's doing something right. The PBC brand is great, even though they have predicted the failure of the PBC for years now and, and have been wrong like they've been wrong so many times on so many different fronts. And this is no different. But... um. Public perception means a lot, man. And until uh, the perception of this man increases more than what it is, my man Al Heyman is the odd man out. And that's just the way it is. You know what I'm saying? But he has my full support, man. At the end of the day, the fighters are seeing record purses. You know what I'm saying? Big fights are being made. We got another big one next month. You know, for all the negative press that the PBC gets, they never get any good press when they do something correct. With the fights that are happening next month, that's something correct. It should have been applauded. The fight with Manny Pacquiao and Keith Thurman a month ago, that was something correct. It should have been applauded. And the many other fights that they put on, they get thrown to the wayside, act like it was no good. They have consistently gave us fight after fight after fight on free TV. You know what I'm saying? On free TV, not pay-per-views. You know, not uh, uh, an app where you got to pay a monthly fee. You know what I'm talking about? And the boxing fans are so damn fickle. They don't know a damn thing about the sport. They claim they know, but then they go run to these same writers and just regurgitate everything the writers say like the writers have any leg to stand on. All the writers do is just write. They're in the position that they're in because they have a journalism degree and they're interested in the sport. That's it. But unfortunately, the way this game, the way this game goes, the people who the people who are loudest gets the most attention. There's so much gimmick in the sport; it's ridiculous. And the people that actually got common damn sense get ignored. So until things change, man, my man Al Heyman, the brass at PBC, you are the odd man out. Uh, it's unfortunate, but you got, like I said, I salute you. I'm glad these fighters are getting record purses. I'm glad they're able to feed their family. And when they elect to get out this sport, they got big bank accounts and stuff that they can transfer the money from the fight game into another business interest and continue to provide for themselves. Something that has never been done in the history of this sport. That should be applauded. That should not be hated. That should not be frowned upon, man. But that's the sport as we know it. The grimy sport that we know is the sport of boxing. But like I said, man, that's all I got for you. It's your boy Ashy Knuckles boxing. And that's all I got for you, man. Peace.
If you like the content that you heard in the video, subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button and the bell icon so you can receive notifications whenever there's a new video or whenever Ashy Knuckles decides to go live. Also, go by MandatoryDefense.com where the ring sorts out the facts for the latest news and updates and views in the sport of boxing. Also, go by Facebook.com backslash come out fighting and like the page. You can also catch up with your boy Ashy Knuckles on Twitter at a puncher's chance. And if you want to donate to the channel and to the website and in general to the cause, look in the description box below. You can catch me at PayPal me at Ashy Knuckles Boxing. That's all I got for you. I appreciate y'all for stopping in. It's your boy Ashy Knuckles and that's all I got for you. Peace.